In this video tutorial, I'm going to give you an outline of the layout of an E107 website. Now, the reason for that is it'll help you when you're designing your own E107 theme. Now, if you're thinking of designing an E107 theme and you've never written HTML code by hand, then you really have to do that first because you won't be able to get through. There's also a little bit of PHP, but if you've never done PHP, don't worry because you can pretty much learn by example. Okay, the first thing you need to know about an E107 website is it's separated into three main areas. The top area is called your header. In this example, I have uh, the E107 logo in this header area. Then there's the body area, and that contains my menu and the, content, the body content of my website. And then at the bottom, we have our footer, which um, contains the information about uh, Spinning Planet. So, inside the body area of the site, we have a, num a number of other subcomponents. The first one is the menu here. Um, in the E107 theme, you can specify whether you want the menu to be horizontal or whether you want it to be vertical. You can also place it into any of these areas around here if you want to as well. Next on the page, we have menu blocks. Now, the menu blocks, um, you can program... Oh, program is probably the wrong word. You can move different components into different menu blocks. You can also specify where menu blocks go um, and, and they're identified by a number. So for example, if I wanted a menu block up here, I might call it um, menu 7 and I could put my banner ad system up there, my banner ad plugin which comes with E107. In this case we're not doing that, we just have a couple of simple menu blocks which is one for the left hand side and two for the right hand side. So on the left hand side, if I log out, we have our login menu and then we also have our chat box. These are two separate menu blocks that you can put in there, the chat box is a plugin. On the right hand side we have our other news menu block which actually gives us um, the summary of news items that we've recently added which is quite helpful. Now there's lots of other menu blocks that you can use in E107, um, other plugins such as newsletters, you can also have a list of who's presently visiting the website, you can show your website statistics, lots of stuff like that, it's really handy. In the centre of the page we have our content area. Now this is where the main content shows. Now there's a number of different type of content in E107. In this instance it's news.php and by default this is actually the front page and there's good reason for that. Um, search engines like pages that are um, regularly updated. So if you have your news on the front page and you change it at least once a month, search engines will like you more and therefore rank you higher. It also works out well for the visitors to your website because instead of coming back and seeing the same old thing every time, they actually see something new which shows that you're a vibrant and dynamically changing website. There's also different types of content. Um, the main one that we use is what's called the Content Management Plugin and it allows you to create different categories and then put categories inside that or content inside there. And here's an example. So if we click on car repairs, we can see here's a content page that we've created for car repairs. Now if I log in as the admin, we can see that this little edit icon is showing up and that allows us to just go straight in there and edit content directly. Now if, if you're up to the stage where you're building a theme then you probably already know all this but it's just a good example to show you how the system works and there we have it. I'll go back to the front page, we'll have a look at a few more things. Um, here we can see we have a calendar and that's again just another E107 plugin and if you look inside the themes, if I go back to the home page which is the news, you can also actually set up default styles for the different things like news.php and the calendar and the content management plugin. Okay, so that gives you an idea of the layout of E107. In the next tutorial, we're actually going to get right into writing the HTML code for it and then creating our own theme.